How stable is your world right now? I'm guessing that you wish there were a lot more certainty and a lot less questions right now. We have all kinds of questions, questions about our health, about our finances, about our country, about our loved ones, about essential workers, about reopening things. I mean, the list goes on and on with the questions that we have. For many of us, our world has always been unstable. There has always been more questions than answers and more instability than stability. We have survived one day at a time, always concerned about what the next day might bring because we know we have no reserves if things go sour. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through verse 27, Jesus makes a comparison between two kinds of builders. Please listen as I read these verses. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. One man built his house on rock, a strong, stable foundation. The other man built his house on sand, a poor foundation. Now, I am assuming from this story that both of these men built nice homes. They looked beautiful. They poured their hearts into building something that they would enjoy. And to everybody walking by, these homes probably would have looked about the same, built with the same materials and the same care. The only difference was what the homes were built on. And life happened. Rains fell, winds blew, streams rose. One house stood, the other one crumbled. What was the difference? It was the foundation. And Jesus goes on to share that that is a picture of our lives. We are building our lives on a foundation. The question is, what is that foundation? The foundation that will hold steady and allow us to build a life that lasts, a life that has value and a life that will withstand what the world throws at us, is the foundation based on God's commands and us practicing those commands. The wise person hears what God says and does it. Why? Because God's commands are for our best, long term. They might not be the most enjoyable for the moment, but they work out our best in the long term. Many of us in our lives have had the experience of watching our world come crashing down around us. And that happened because we lived as... A foolish builder. We did what we felt like at the time, and we built our lives on a shaky foundation, our feelings, our wants, our desires. Jesus shares that there is a better way. And I want to encourage you, keep reading from God's Word. If you finish the Gospel of John, like me, you've read through it a few times, I encourage you, read through the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. But keep reading. See what God has to say to you. Live what you see him sharing to you, and you will have a life that will stand no matter what happens around you. Please bow with me in prayer. Dear God, please continue to show yourself and your way to us as we continue to read your word. Help us to understand and to live well what we read. And please give us the stability in life that is only found through faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen.